Chapter 20 of the Life of Benjamin Franklin. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Ethel Bus. The Life of Benjamin Franklin by Samuel G. Goodrich. Chapter 20 necessary hints to those that would be rich written anno 1786 the use of money is all the advantage there is in having money for six pounds a year you may have the use of one hundred pounds provided you are a man of no prudence and honesty he that spends a groat a day idly spend idly about six pounds a year which is the price for the use of one hundred pounds he that wastes idly a groat's worth of his time per day one day with another wastes the privilege of using one hundred pounds each year he that idly loses five shillings worth of time loses five shillings and might as prudently throw five shillings into the sea he that loses five shillings not only loses that sum but all the advantages that might be made by turning it in dealing which by the time that the young man becomes old will amount to a considerable sum of money again he that sells upon credit asks a price for what he sells equivalent to the principal and interest of his money for the time he is to be kept out of it therefore he that buys upon credit pays interest for what he buys and he that pays ready money might let that money out to use so that he that possess anything he has bought pay interest for the use of it yet in buying goods it's best to pay ready money because he that sells upon credit expects to lose five per cent by bad debits therefore he charges on all his sales upon credit an advance that shall make up that deficiency those who pay for what they buy upon credit pay their share of this advance he that pays ready money escapes or may escape the charge a penny saved is two pence clear a penny a day is a growth a year End of chapter twenty